In this movie, we'll be using the Wiggler project from the Chapter 13 folder to talk about how to create random keyframes. I can't even begin to tell you how helpful this is. Here's the final result that we're going to be creating here. Kind of this creepy little scene with this light bulb flickering on and off. Now you can imagine, as I scrub through the timeline manually here, how long it would take to go frame by frame to create all of these manual keyframes and change all these different values. So After Effects provides ways that we can create keyframes like this and generate them randomly. One of those ways is through a feature called the Wiggler, and that's what we're going to look at here. I'm going to go over to Wiggler Scene Start, and we have here this light layer. Right now it's at 100% opacity. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Window menu, and I'm going to open up the Wiggler, which is also a great name for a toddler superhero. I'm just saying. Now what we need to do first before using the Wiggler is to set some keyframes. And what I'm actually going to do is zoom out by clicking and dragging this little slider to the left so we can see our entire composition. And I'm going to click the stopwatch for opacity at 50%. Going to hit the end key and just change the opacity value a little bit, doesn't matter. In order for the wiggler to work, you need multiple keyframes. Basically what the wiggler is going to do, it's going to look at two values, two keyframes, and automatically generate a bunch of random values based on those keyframes. Now before we can even play with these options here, we need to select these keyframes. So I'm going to click the word opacity to select all keyframes. And we want to apply this to the temporal graph. That's the only thing we can apply it to. Also, we want the noise type to be jagged. You would use smooth if you wanted random values, but in a smooth way. Let's say, for example, you had something bobbing along water. You'd want some random values there, but you'd want them smooth. So we want jagged. And we have two choices here, frequency and magnitude. Five times per second sounds like a lot, but it's really not. So I'm going to take this up to 10 times per second. That's basically a change every three frames. Magnitude is basically the range of randomness. I'm going to use a value of 100. It's probably a little bit much here. But I want to make sure that the wiggler goes from 0 to 100. So basically by making the magnitude 100, we give it all of that range and then some. And then I'm going to click the apply button and all these keyframes are automatically generated for you. And if I scrub this timeline, you can see that this light flickers on and off in a fairly realistic way. It's going a little bit slow because it's trying to render there, but you get the idea. Later on in this chapter, we'll talk about how to connect the glow in the background to the glow of the light bulb so that they both flicker simultaneously. In the next movie, we're going to be looking at the smoother, which is essentially the opposite of the wiggler. It attempts to smooth keyframe values.